Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, what I got here, this is my first uh, H23 uh, VTEC that I built way back. Uh, I'm using a H23 A1 non VTEC together with H22 cylinder head. Uh, this particular engine, this is more like a, my, one of my collection. I just, I don't know, I don't want to part ways with it. Uh, this is this block here is kind of unique. I was able to use uh, an old squirters on this one by modifying the H22 uh, pistons. And also, when you use an H22 piston or H23 block, you would get about 20,000 piston top. It will, it will stick out. But this one, I was uh, able to uh, to remedy that. I have to modify the uh, the pistons. I think I have shown you guys the pistons before what I did on this one. What's on the internal on this one? Well, this is more like the blue top, the one you can buy, the H23 uh, A VTEC, uh, except that it doesn't have a 55 millimeter. This one uses a 50 millimeter uh, crankshaft still. And I'm using a uh, upgraded uh, bulb springs on this one from Rocket Motorsports, the brand. And also, I'm using a Type S cams on this one, together with a ARP head stud. Of course, this one uh, seen uh, a dyno session, I think twice on this one. But let me show you how much this one made. This is uh, way back in uh, 2016. Yeah, I think I believe this is the second time around. But anyway, uh, yes, I think 219 horsepower and 160 something torque today's episode is about the uh, the timing belt i just had this is more like a quick tip uh, everyone knows if you ever built one of these uh, it, whether if it's a g23 F or g22 or uh, something like this an h23 with h22 head Except the uh, the real VTEC one, okay? I'm talking about the hybrid only. But anyway, if you happen to uh, to to build one of these and you are struggling to put the uh, the timing belt on, I, I have a a solution for it. It's just nothing but uh, taking off some material off from the uh, belt tensioner. This one is already been modified. But I'm gonna put this uh, the unmodified one, and I'm gonna show you how. I don't think the camera can pick it up, but you will run into some issue of the belt being too tight. First of all, if you have an OBD one setup like this one, this belt tensioner, and if you want to save some money. You know, you don't want to buy those uh, K-Tune or KS-Tune, uh, I think it was, I believe, K-Tune or some replica where you can manually uh, put some tension on the belt. And this is what you have. So this is perfect for you. This will help you out. Okay, this is the modified one, which is I'm gonna show you guys later. Okay, I'm gonna put the the OEM, the unmodified one. Just kind of bear with me, cause uh, it 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 is really gets so tight. Okay, everything is all lined up and everyone is different as far as like putting the timing belt I me myself I start on this one I line this up and line up right here then I start working on this side 
some guys will start on this side and then finish off on the left side so it's really it's up to you on how whatever makes it easier but at the end they're both come out with the same and also if you have one of those lock the better it is you can put it on here whatever makes it uh, easier for us okay all right when you put it on it just gets so tight that you will do just about everything you can think of just to put it on to this it's either on this side or this side or over here or on this side at the bottom yeah it's just it's just tight yeah but you could get it on with with a little bit of a persuasion okay and yeah um if for anyone that uh, have built one of these you they did run into the belt being too tight but somehow they managed to get it on there okay now here is what i did to make it easier this one is uh, a little bit uh, i need to uh, grind this some uh shape some more material off from here right here from where it, there's some red mark and also right here let me show you side by side so this one is the unmodified still intact right there by my finger and this is what i did right there and the inside okay. I still need to uh, remove some material off from there which is that's what I'm gonna do later on why it shaped this side right here this corner because it's gonna be sitting right here You can see the difference. See this one right here? It's almost flush. If I put the uh, the unmodified one, see the difference right there. Whole lot of difference. That's about a uh, what a quarter inch uh, difference. I'm gonna shave some more material off from this and then I'll get back to this. Yeah, there's still plenty of uh, material I can remove. After I did shape some material, right there. See how much clearance I have now, right there. Just to uh, prevent that from coming off from that dowel pin, I will go ahead and put this on and. Put the washer and the nut so it, it would not back off. Like that. So the timing belt goes in. Again, the timing belt, everyone is different.
but at the end it all come out the same so from here I'll stretch it and I will line it up a slot like this to the flange of the cylinder head or more like this the seal right there let me set up the camera here like that. See how easy that is? And the rest, line it up. So now I'm going to uh, press the uh, this side up a little. And I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit. See how that thing moves. I just want to get it seated. I'm gonna because I'm I'm thinking I'm I'm gonna put the the spring and the, the bolt. Let's see if I can put the bolt in. I'm going to secure it like that for now, tighten it. Now the spring is next. Be careful with the spring, okay? All right. Uh, I'm going to loosen this up and hopefully loosen that one and loosen this one. Hopefully the spring will put some tension on it. Back it up, tighten it again. Okay, just to verify, I'm lined up, comes lined up, based on the top dead center because the uh, rockers are all free. I can move it back and forth, up and down. this and I'm gonna give it a spin and I'm, I'm going to line it up again and I'll recheck there it's good is also good now I'm gonna loosen this up so I'm gonna put everything together except for the uh, balancer shaft and I'm going to uh, explain how to set the belt tension this is for the new beginners whether you're building a, uh, a hybrid G22, G23, H23 VTAC or H22 okay all right I think I got everything all uh, squared away it's lined up, arrow, 12 o'clock, rocker arms, it's free, no tension, so I know I'm on the top dead center, the crankshaft is all lined up to the arrow, this is all tight. To set the timing belt tension with this, everything is tight, you're going to move your uh, cam gears about 3 teeth. So starting from here, one, two, and three, and find a reference line, which is 
this is what I'm gonna use the seal right there well, well it just happened to be the seal got stuck on there but if this is missing then you can use the uh, the flange of the cylinder head right here so that will be right there I'm gonna mark it so one two right there then I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna line this up to the flange of the cylinder head right there it doesn't have to be precise as long as you have you move more than three teeth okay what just happened is I put a tension on the belt itself I pulled it I gave it a, a, a attention so all you need to do is loosen this a bit and loosen this nut if you are building a H22 and G23 F20B if you didn't do anything on this and the belt just slip right on you will see this thing move as soon as I lo you loosen it this thing will move I have shown this before on some of my videos that this one actually pulled it but this one it's all it's the belt is so tight that there's no more room to go up so as soon as you loosen these two and this thing will go up because right now the tension is set already and just simply secure everything of course so use your service manual for a proper torque values then after that you put your uh, setup so you can turn it again. Two crunch up revolution. Then just line it up right there. Recheck again. Lined up. And then your tension is set. I, I like this one better, better than uh, than the one that you could buy. Of course, if that's how you want uh, your your tensioner would be, I have nothing against it. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, yeah, it made a lot easier with the belt with that little modification right there. Hopefully, this will help you out. It doesn't really take that long to, uh, to shave some material off of this. And it will make your life a lot easier. I guarantee it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye everyone.